appeared before lawmakers to respond to questions surrounding her ministry. The questions range from rehabilitation of seed stores, reintroduction of the farmers' corporation to the granite production in the country. Binta Fati was at the National Assembly and she files in this report. Gambia's agricultural sector is regarded as the backbone of the country's economy due to the fertile lands, favorable climate and the river Gambia. Despite this assertion, the sector continues to face so many challenges. Compared to other countries, farmers in the Gambia are among the lowest income earners. This could be linked to inefficient implementation of agricultural policies, poor market systems, and insufficient farming implements that could ensure productivity and growth of the sector. Raw granite is the key export commodity for the Gambia, contributing one third to the country's GDP. However, Farmers in the garment sector continue to battle with the prices of the commodity, forcing them to sell their products to the neighboring Senegal. Honorable Alhaji Dabo, National Assembly member for Lower Fulodu West, asked if the Ministry of Agriculture has any plans to protect the granite industry by motivating local farmers to prevent them from selling their produce to neighboring countries. Minister Fabre said prevention would depend on the prices being offered by the government. Because if you look at uh, last year price and this year price, it's quite different. There is a lot of increment this year. So come next season also, we we'll look into it. It depends on the price to convince the farmers. The Honorable Member for Upper Salum, al Bao, wanted to know the strategies that the Ministry has in place to ensure the exportation of granite to generate more foreign exchange for the country. In response, the Minister said her Ministry intends to collaborate with the Ministry of Trade to partner with the Chinese through the Gambia Granite Corporation to purchase granite from the country. As a Ministry, I'm trying to list with my sister Ministry, the Trade Minister, so that we can also engage uh, the Chinese so that they can be part of our granite production to improve granite production in this country. That's what, uh, what is our intention. And then not only that, even the marketing of granite. Because even our neighboring country, they are using the Chinese to purchase their peanuts. So we can also go for that arrangement. That's our intention as a ministry. The Honorable Member for Serekunda, Halifa Sala, asked Minister Fabre whether the export of raw groundnut is more beneficial to the country than the processed one. To sell the raw, raw groundnut, that means we are looking in for the foreign exchange, so that Gambia can have a lot of foreign exchange. And uh, if we process into crude oil also, we can also provide the local market. They will also have quality oil. I think uh, that's a very good point. I uh, will try to consider that as a ministry so that we can engage some private people, especially for the crude oil. Out of more than $30 billion expenditure featured in the approved budget of 2021, the Ministry of Agriculture receives a sum of $1,607,975,000. Reporting for Our Africa TV News, I am Binta Fati. Despite efforts in boosting the Gambia's agricultural sector, 